Have you ever been disappointed by the pink donut? It's all frazzle-dazzle, beautiful colors, but no substance, promise of excitement, but the plainest of flavors. Well, that ends today. The pink donut deserves to be more than just a pretty face. Popularized by The Simpsons, the pink donut is a classic, but most renditions of it are just a plain donut with plain pink colored glaze. So what can we do to make it more interesting? Well, first things first, we can take inspiration from a game. You all know we love doing our little part to boost small indie game studios. And even though we've never been sponsored, aside from occasionally getting a free copy of a game, we like to do things because it's a lot of fun to imagine up what a dish from a game would taste like IRL. Earlier this month, Dummy Dojo and Abbey Light Studios released a free mobile game for iOS called Ninja Chowdown, in which Donatsu, a ninja in training at the Dojo Donuttery, spends his time fighting crime, and chasing down donuts. He's a ninja, so it's gotta be a mochi donut. But what pink flavor can we use? Strawberry and raspberry and even beet are familiar, but kind of overdone. But dragon fruit, that is a ninja-worthy flavor. So our quest for today is, can we make dragon fruit flavored mochi donuts. Are they better baked or are they better fried? And can we get that vibrantly pink color in the frosting? Let's make some donuts. I really want to use fresh dragon fruit in our donuts since Sun's dad grows them at home and he's always sending some home with us. So we have a bunch that have been sitting in the fridge for a while. This dragon fruit is moldy. But I couldn't find any recipes that used fruit puree. Most of them used flavorings like extracts or cocoa powder. Since we don't care about the pondering ring shape, I'm just adapting a recipe that just has you roll out the dough and cut it into the classic donut shape. Aside from the bit of milk used when you microwave the rice flour at the beginning. It smells like mochi in here. Weird. How it smells like mochi when I'm making mochi. <laughs> I wanted to try replacing the rest of the liquid with mashed up dragon fruit. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work, but if it does, then this means you can probably sub in any sort of fruit puree that you want to use. Oh shoot, I need more mochiko. Hold on. I'm good, carry on. Mochiko is the type of rice flour used to make mochi. It's also known as sweet rice flour or glutinous rice flour and gives mochi or other baked goods that classic chewy mochi texture. Sweet rice flour is not the same as regular rice flour. If it's not labeled sweet, glutinous, or sticky, then it's likely regular rice flour and will work more similarly to normal wheat flour in recipes. When you're talking about mochi donuts, most people think of the ponde ring that American turned Japanese donut chain, Mr. Donut, introduced in 2003. However, while those donuts do have the mochi mochi texture, they are not actually made with rice flour. They use a mixture that includes tapioca flour for the chewy texture. The concept of actual mochi donuts, on the other hand, originated in Hawaii in the early 90s. These tend to be much denser and chewier, closer to the texture of actual mochi. Our donut dough is looking pretty good so far. So I would say part one of our quest, can we make dragon fruit flavored mochi donuts, is a success. Now on to part two, to bake or to fry. The original recipe that I'm basing these off of is a frying recipe. So we're going to try that first. However, there are also a lot of baked mochi donut recipes out there, and nobody in this household is going to complain about extra donuts. So we're going both ways and comparing the two. 
Lastly, the frosting part of our quest. I decided to use something called pitaya powder, aka dragon fruit powder, that you can buy online, both for the little bit of extra dragon fruit flavor, but most importantly for that flamboyantly pink color. I know it looks overly dramatic, but this is actually fairly true to color. The dragon fruit we're using are all white inside, but there are also dragon fruit that are even more vibrantly pink on the inside than they are on the outside. So this is perfect. And now it is finally time to answer our questions. Does the dragon fruit flavor come through? Do we prefer baked or fried? Is it pink enough? And lastly, do we think it deserves the moniker of a dojo donut? Let's try it. So the thing about dragon fruit is that it's a very subtle flavor, but a lot of the flavor is in the seeds. So even though they add black speckles that weren't in the original donut design, we decided to keep the seeds in to add to the flavor. I do think that the dragon fruit flavor does come through. It's not a strong flavor, but it is there. And if you're familiar with the flavor of fresh dragon fruit at all, you'll definitely recognize it. As for baked versus fried, that was a bit of a surprise. Due to some poor scheduling on my part, we didn't end up having baked and fried donuts at the same time. I actually made our fried donuts a month ago. But the reason we decided to try baking our donuts is because we weren't 100% happy with how the fried ones turned out. The fried donuts were amazing straight out of the fryer. Crunchy and crispy and oh, oh so good. But the thing with donuts is that if you want to glaze them, you gotta let them cool down first. Otherwise that beautiful glaze will just slide right off. And the thing with the fried donuts is once they cool down, they just ended up soggy and sad. The baked donuts, on the other hand, are almost hard right out of the oven. Kind of like how some breads have that thick, hard crust. But heat them in the microwave for 20 seconds or so. You'll wanna do this for both types as they're not the best at room temperature. And you'll get perfectly chewy, not at all soggy donuts. I'm very surprised to say that I actually liked the baked version of the donuts better. And while we still have yet to hear what everybody behind Ninja Chowdown thinks, I think I can confidently say that these donuts 100% deserve the name of Dojo Donuts. Hold on. I've just been informed that Sun is demanding this become an all mochi donut all the time channel and he wants us to open our own dojo donuttery dummy dojo how do you feel about franchising opportunities 